Hello, thanks for having me. My name is James Freed. I went to the Santa Rosa Junior College from 2011 to 2015 before transferring to UC Santa Cruz in the summer of 2015. I received my Bachelor's of Science in Ecology and Evolutionary Biology and graduated in June of 2017 from UCSC. Prior to graduation, in June, I submitted my application for what would become my current job and career as a commissioned officer in the NOAA Commissioned Officer Corps, or NOAA Corps for short. What may be new to many, including myself at the time when I first heard about it, is that NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, has a uniformed officer corps of about 321 officers that is one of eight of the uniformed services in the United States. The NOAA Corps serves throughout the agency's line and staff offices to support nearly all of NOAA's programs and missions. The combination of commissioned service and officers' scientific expertise makes us uniquely capable of leading some of NOAA's most important initiatives. The NOAA Corps today provides a cadre of professionals trained in engineering, earth sciences, oceanography, meteorology, fishery science, and other related disciplines. Corps officers operate NOAA's ships, fly aircraft, manage research projects, conduct diving operations, and serve in staff positions throughout NOAA. Day-to-day -day work is always different as a NOAA Corps officer. I can't speak on the day-to-day -day life as a NOAA Corps pilot, but I do have experience serving on board NOAA ships as well as working in the office. I'm currently stationed in Seattle, Washington, completing my land assignment as a staff scientist in the Alaska Fishery Science Center's Marine Mammal Laboratory. I arrived here in late 2019 and will remain in this land assignment until January 2023. Once my land assignment is up, I will rotate back out to sea on one of NOAA's 15 state-of-the-art research ships located around the country. But until then, I'll be here in Seattle. There are roughly 70 people that work for the Marine Mammal Laboratory in a variety of capacities. At the lab, I'm responsible for supporting Marine Mammal Lab operations by arranging training, providing fieldwork support, and assisting with compiling documents, drafting reports, and coordinating program and cooperation and communication. Depending on the time of the year, I'm often after looking after our fleet of small boats that the lab owns, coordinating and planning safety training for all the people in the lab, assisting with field work where I'm needed, and managing a marine mammal database that keeps marine mammal human cause injury and mortality events, as well as a marine mammal public outreach sighting database. When assigned to a ship, the work is very different. I spent two years assigned to the NOAA ship Bell and Shimada, home ported in Newport, Oregon. We spent roughly 220 days at sea each year. The ship operated mostly in the U.S. Economic Exclusive Zone from San Diego, California to Washington State. In some years, we even went up to Alaskan waters to conduct operations as well. The Bellum Shimada is a multi-platform, state-of-the-art fishery survey vessel, which is designed specifically to conduct fishery surveys and oceanographic research. Operations conducted include fishing using various types of trawl nets, oceanographic sampling using a variety of over-the-side sampling devices such as a CTD or a conductivity temperature depth sensor, plankton nets, towed camera and hydrophone arrays, and we also deployed and retrieved weather buoys, we deployed subsurface moorings. We conducted benthic habitat mapping, as well as ROV operations to explore the depths of the ocean. I could easily talk for hours explaining the details to all the operations, the specifics of the ship, but I have to keep, I have to keep this video to eight minutes. In short, as an officer on board a ship, I would typically stand eight hours of watch on the bridge, which involved me safely navigating the 200 foot vessel, conducting operations, as well as docking and undocking the ship in port. When not on the bridge, each officer on board has a variety of other responsibilities, which for me, I was responsible for the safety and damage control on board, environmental compliance, diving, small boats, crew morale, among a variety of other duties. A typical day underway is a minimum of 12 hour work, week, work days, which Seems like a lot at first, but it's always going to be different and it's always very exciting. Projects last usually around 10 to 23 days. And so day to day, when you're not working, you're going to be doing your best to find time to eat, 
sleep, work out, and relax when you can. At times, it can be a lot, but you do get to travel with the ship wherever the ship goes, and then there's a lot, a lot of training opportunities, which may happen, could be anywhere in the United States. So I've been able to travel to a handful of states across the U.S. for training, which has involved dive training, dive master training, dynamic positioning, electronic chart display information systems, among a few other trainings. So it's very exciting. You're always learning. You're always improving on what you have learned. And you're always trying to grow to become the best officer you can be. Requirements to be a Naval Corps officer include being a U U.S. citizen, having a college bachelor's degree, preferably in a major course of study related to NOAA's scientific or technical activities, have complete at least 48 semester or 72 quarter hours in science, math, or engineering coursework pertaining to NOAA's missions, as well as pass a mental and physical examination. I don't have any recommendations for specific schools for this job. NOAA Corps accepts applications from all over the United States, so I recommend attending the school you want that would be best for you. In regards to future work in this type of job, I think there will always be a need for NOAA Corps officers in the foreseeable future. Although there is a lot of adva advancement around the world in terms of automation, there is a long way to go for large ships to be able to safely navigate in congested waterways, especially while conducting the operations that we conduct. NOAA is also on the forefront of using this automation technology to assist with data collection, and so I see a potential that future Corps officers may have a hand in helping develop and manage some of those groundbreaking automated technology and their systems. For my closing comments, I just want to say that this is hands down the coolest job I've ever had and I've ever heard of. I encourage anyone that has the slightest interest to look into the NOAA Corps. The NOAA Corps was also recently reauthorized and with that came expanding the Corps from the current 321 officers to 500 officers. So we're always looking for new recruits to fill our ranks. Eight minutes is not nearly enough time to talk about all the aspects of the Corps, such as the benefits that come with being a U.S. uniformed officer the training and all the nitty gritty details of my job, the ship, and the field of work I get to conduct. So if you have any questions, feel free to do some research online or give me an email, which you can find me at james.freed, that's F-R-E-E-D, at noaa.gov. Thank you so much and stay safe.